Hello and welcome. This is Rufalmonger and my friends. I'm sure you saw the thumbnail of this video, and yes, it's true. Lab Coat Android 21 is now banned in at least one future major upcoming fighting game tournament, that being CEO 2022. And why is she banned? Well, frankly, everyone's sick of her. No one wants to play against her, and everyone has to play her if they want to win. So this tweet has the official statement on the matter. After a formal review with the CEO board of directors, Jabali, and the entire Dragon Ball Fighters community, we have decided to ban Lab Coat 21 from CEO 2022's tournament play. As of today, all of our tournament rules have been updated here, and the link's there. And yeah, that's about the long and short of it. In a follow-up statement from CEO's founder, Jabali, I'm always against banning characters in a fighting game to allow the meta to figure it out. But her debuff for an entire match, as well as seven of the top eight teams at Combo Breaker using her, proves how overpowered she is. Also, excited that we can add a few hours back to the rest of our schedule. And yes, you did hear that correctly. Seven out of the top eight players at Combo Breaker 2022 used Lab Coat 21. And more to the point, if we go deeper and look at the top 48, over 30 players of the top 48 were also using Lab Coat 21. And in that top 48, everyone who did not use Lab Code 21, except for one person, didn't make it the top A now, did they? Now, it's besides the point to talk about her overall character strength. We all know she's an absolutely ridiculous character. But the fact in a, the modern era of fighting games, a character is being banned for, you know, things related outside of like bugs or glitches or whatever, just for the raw power. That's pretty crazy. Like even MKX days, like Tanya, who is debatably more insane than Lab Code 21 is, right? She wasn't even banned. Now, as you may recall, Bandai Namco Esports did put out that there will be at least one more patch for Dragon Ball Fighters. Specifically, the main thrust of the patch is uh, ostensibly just a nerf Lab Code 21, right? So that is coming sometime in the nebulous future of which, you know, we have no dates at all. Certainly wasn't there for Combo Breaker. That was plain as day to see. Probably won't be there for CEO, hopefully is there for EVO. At this rate, if the patch is not live for EVO and now with this precedent set at CEO, then it is very likely that Labco 21 will be banned at EVO. So where's that patch basically? But anyways, my friends, that's just reporting the news as it stands. A character ban in the modern day is a very big deal. It happens every now and then for bugs, glitches, this, that, and the other, but for just raw power, that's uh, that's something else. So that's why I deem this newsworthy. So feel free to discuss it in the comments below. I'm sure some of you guys got some really strong feelings one way or the other. But besides that, well, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Dragon Ball without that nasty old lab code Android 21.